Shemayna Mitzorim, and we begin the three weeks with the fast of the 17th day of Tammuz, Shivos of Tammuz. And our sages bring a few reasons as to why this is a day of national mourning. And one of the reasons is somewhat perplexing. One of the reasons is because during the first base of Mikdash era, this was when our enemies brought in an idol into the base of Mikdash. They brought in Avodah Zarah. You have to ask, why is this cause for national mourning over the plethora of things that have occurred to the Jewish people throughout the pages of history? Why specifically this? And perhaps I'd like to offer the following. It's a cause for national mourning because we still have an idol in the base of Mikdash. You see, Chazal, our sages refer to the Jewish people when the Torah tells us that we should build a Mikdash and I will dwell with it and I will dwell within them, says Akash Baruch Hu. Our sages say that that's referring to you because you are a walking base of Mikdash. And throughout the ages, we find that we fall prey to this, the small mistakes. We fall prey that we are bringing in a Vodazara. People have obsessions. People worship money. Money is the most important thing. It's the only thing that they speak about. People worship sports. And the sports players, they idolize them. They are bringing in people. They're bringing in things that have no connection to the Judaism. They have no connection to the spirituality. People worship themselves. They let their ego get in the way of things. And so we mourn because there's still an idol in the base of Mikdash. Because there's still an idol, perhaps, within us. And our enemies, our enemies thought, hey, if we can put an idol in the base of Mikdash, you see, the base of Mikdash, that's the Jewish people's source of strength. That's where they get their nourishment of spirituality. If we can taint the base of Mikdash, we can taint the Jewish people's strength. If we can taint the Jewish people's strength, we can taint them. What they fail to realize is that our, our spirituality does not stem exclusively only from the base of Mikdash. Because we are a Mikdash Ma'at. We are a walking base of Mikdash. So as we go through day by day throughout these three weeks to recognize you are a walking base of Mikdash. You are full of Kedusha, of wholeness and spirituality. You are full of the Torah, the mitzvahs, the minhag and the traditions that we've kept for thousands of years. Get rid of the idol within. Get rid of all the negativity. Recognize who you are. Recognize what you carry. And Bezos Hashem, if you grow Mechayel Echayel, if you push yourself beyond your comfort level, if you take a deep look within, a true Cheshbon HaNefesh, we'll get rid of the idol. We'll realize the Kedusha that lays dormant within us and hopefully bring that to fruition, which will Bezos Hashem help bring Mashiach Mehero Yameinu.